Space shuttle Endeavor is now high above the Earth after lifting off from Florida earlier this week. But the shuttle wasn't the only thing lifting off this week. Mm. This morning, we are joined by Bobby Russell with Quest for Stars. Good morning. Tell us about your organization. It must have been so exciting and just the, the project that you have in store. Absolutely. We have a great project. Uh, Quest for Stars is a nonprofit organization that launches high altitude weather balloons and student built payloads to the edge of space. And uh, on this mission, Cenotopia 1, which was named after uh, a middle school in Mississippi that won a uh, contest back in the 80s, uh, NASA had put out a um, contest basically after the destruction of uh, Challenger because mm -hmm. school children were watching Krista McAuliffe take off and right. that was right. pretty traumatic. Mm -hmm. So Congress mandated that we go ahead and, um, you know, let students name it. So Cenotopia was one of two schools that actually won the contest and went to the White House and got to see it launch That's for the first incredible. time. That's pretty incredible. We should mention that you are local. You are from San Diego. You traveled over there to Florida. And what you do is you bring students together and really get spark a passion, I should say, for space. That is correct. So our program is really about bringing excitement to science. And what we're trying to do is bring it also together community. So in this case, uh, you have San Diego, two high schools, Westview High School and High Tech High School, who collaborated on the project. You have Cenotopia Middle School in Cenotopia, Mississippi. And you have a couple schools in Florida, and, and including the town of Bronson, Florida. Okay, Bobby, and uh, just let's back up for one moment, everybody. We were looking at that video there. Uh, basically, can you explain a little bit more about uh, the experiment? It was a cell phone, a balloon. Wh what are we trying to glean and gain from all this? Well, yeah. What was that? So what it is, is basically it's a high altitude weather balloon, and it's a, a payload. And local students built it, and on board were four GoPro cameras, high definition video cameras, and two cell phones. The cell phones are taking data. Uh, and they're also taking pictures and providing Three, tracking. So our, our goal two, was to capture the last flight five, of Space Shuttle Endeavor at the edge off. of space. And here is the liftoff, mm -hmm. right? And Can you tell us about this, Bobby? What are we watching here? Yeah, so what you're watching is actually the first few seconds of flight of Cenotopia 1, and we had a really special treat here. George Diller, the announcer that announced the shuttle launch that day, also did our countdown for us. So you see the balloon flying away from our launch site, ultimately reaching an altitude of 95,000 feet. Now, you were not there at Cape Canaveral, but you did get to witness history in the making, but this isn't the first time. You've seen several shuttle launches. That's correct. I've seen seven, if you can count, count the two that we've seen from the edge of space. Uh, my passion here is to share not only the excitement of science and let students build something, but also to share these images with the world. Uh, this has made news around the world. We've been getting comments from all over the, uh, the, the planet, and Charlie Bolden, the NASA administrator who runs NASA, are sending our pictures and the, the digital images yeah. of the signatures. Let's show this here. How many signatures do you have? We have 5,521 signatures that flew on board. These were digitized. They will be going to uh, Congressman Gifford's office this afternoon, uh, as well as they're on orbit right now with the crew and the pictures that we took. So Digitally, they're going to go up there so the astronauts can actually see that. Well, they're actually going to take a picture that holding picture. them for us and send them back that to the That is very studio. cool. Yeah, there are a lot of them here. Sorry we can't that go through all cool. of them I right can now. only imagine, you know, it's so majestic even watching a space shuttle launch on TV and what it must be like to, like, there it goes, you know, even in person, not right there at the Space Center, but um, let's leave it with this. What if people want to get involved, learn a little bit more about what you do? Um, just talk to some people here in San yeah, Diego. So You're from Car well, I mean, talk to us, but yeah. just tell them. Well, right. Well, in San Diego, uh, you can, we're looking for volunteers all the time. In fact, next Friday, we're trying to do a launch. The weather, as you guys know, has been a little crazy here the last couple days. Uh, so we're trying on May 27th to do a final launch of the program for the school year uh, at Westview High with High Tech High. But if people would like to get involved, we could always use volunteers here locally. Donations? Donations. <laughs> on our oh, website. Yeah, that, that always helps. We, the we bigger the check, the better. Yeah. We don't take salaries. We work off of donations. So donations at our website, questforstars.com. You can go up and donate. And we, we, any amount helps. That is fantastic. Okay. We actually have all that information at cbsa.com. Just yeah. go to the hot button and we'll link it there. Hopefully we'll get some great donations so you can kind of keep spark more interest in space. Bingo. Be great. Thanks, Thank Bobby. You so